There are so many layers of meaning to Gayatri Mantra, it is mind-boggling. First, it has exactly 24 Bijaksharas or root sounds within it. These 24 are split into three lines with eight sounds each. Using the same words, it denotes various planes of existence in the cosmos and also the various levels of subtlety within the human body. The words in it mention the brilliance of the sun god, Savitra, who is masculine and is the source of life as we know it. And they also denote Devi Gayatri, the mother goddess, who is the embodiment of feminine energy which gave birth to the cosmos. It also has a yantra attached to it, which holds all the three sounds corresponding to the three goddesses Kali, Lakshmi and Saraswati. It is also mentioned in multiple powerful works like the Vedas, Upanishads, Devi Bhagavatam, the Bhagavad Gita and even Ramayanam. Its usage is prevalent across various daily rituals, meditative practices and yajnas. Because it has so many layers of meaning, we are going to look at each individual aspect in a video of its own. These videos will form a part of a bigger playlist titled The Mysteries of Gayatri Mantra. The Sanskrit channel is an effort to explore a vast variety of topics from original Sanskrit literature. If you wish to support this effort, consider becoming a sponsor on Patreon or make a one-time contribution through these options. Your support will help us improve the quality, length and number of topics covered in our videos. Do check out all the links in the description below. As I have been mentioning repeatedly, the power of a mantra lies in the arrangement of sounds in it. Someone who realized the potential of these sounds that reverberate across existence and then arrange them to be conducive for human speech is called as a mantra drashta or the one who perceived the mantra. This word comes from the root word drishti which means sight. This arrangement of sounds is also set to a particular meter, a specific combination of short and long syllables. This pattern of syllables is called as chandas in Sanskrit. This chandas can be thought of as the rhythm that drives the tune of the chant. Some examples of such chandas are Anushtup, Trishtup, Gayatri and so on. Before we chant a mantra, we first remind ourselves of the person who conceived this mantra and the chandas which holds the mantra. We also meditate on the gods and goddesses associated with the mantra and the intention behind using it. The words used for reminding ourselves of these aspects are something like this. Asya Shri Gayatri Mantrasya Of this Gayatri Mantra Vishwamitra Rishihi The seer is Sej Vishwamitra Gayatri Chandaha The meter is Gayatri Savita Devata The associated god is Savita or the sun god Japopanayane Viniyogaha Its usage is in Japa, chanting and in Upanayana or initiation. The origin of Gayatri Mantra is traced back to Sage Vishwamitra's enlightenment. The first chapter of Ramayanam, called as the Balakanda, holds the life story of Sage Vishwamitra. It is narrated by King Janaka's minister Shatananda to Lord Rama. Sargas 51 to 65 of Balakanda describe the life of Sage Vishwamitra and the struggles he had to face on his path to enlightenment Brahmagnanam. Sage Vishwamitra was once a valiant and proud king of the Kusha dynasty. That is why he was also known by the name Kaushika. As he was patrolling the country with an Akshavhini Sena, an army of 21,870 elephants, same number of chariots, 65,610 cavalry, and 1,9350 foot soldiers, he came across Sage Vashishtha's ashram. After having thoroughly enjoyed Vasishtha's hospitality, he was impressed with a divine cow named Shabala, who was the chief provider of nourishment in Vasishtha's hermitage. He then asked Sage Vasishtha to trade Shabala for enormous riches, but Vasishtha refused. In a battle that ensued, Vishwamitra faced utter defeat. In his humiliation and in a rage to defeat Sage Vasishtha, he decided to become a Brahmarishi a powerful sage with the power of creator within himself. In his misguided journey towards enlightenment, Vishwamitra went through many obstacles. He 
he repeatedly lost the energy he gathered over frivolous pursuits finally after many attempts he was blessed with the knowledge of the brahman which pacified the need for revenge within him since then he became true to his name vishwamitra which means a friend of the universe it is this attainment which enabled vishwamitra to then realize and offer gayatri mantra to the entire world this mantra enlightens the minds dhiyah of practitioners with the brightness of the sun savitur varenyam this dispels negative mindsets which drain our energy repeatedly and moves us from darkness to light this mantra along with a significant portion of the rigveda is said to have been revealed by brahmarshi vishwamitra for global well being i hope you enjoyed watching this video in our next video we will look at different versions of this mantra how to pronounce the individual words in them and of course their meanings if you wish to support the production of more videos like these consider becoming a sponsor on patreon or make a one time contribution through these options your support will help us improve the quality length and number of topics covered in our videos also consider subscribing to the sanskrit channel where we explore hidden gems in the vast world of diverse sanskrit literature see you in the next video namaskaram